Here I have a Matchbox Eggmobiles. It's an egg three pack. This is not a new item. Yeah, it's the middle of summer 2013 and I'm going to do a video about Easter eggs. That's because I want to talk about how in the past, see if you see a copyright there, it says 2004. In the past, we used to be able to get special releases for the holiday. You know, instead, lately, it seems like when Mattel and other companies uh, do their holiday releases, like like this uh, Easter Speedster pack, they just turn around and took regular issue cars and put them in a five pack and then make it an Easter item. I don't know if it's Mattel that's doing this or if it's the stores that are telling them. Just put the regular cars in the holiday packs. I don't know who's behind it, but there was a time... Here's Halloween. There was a time when we get the uh, special decos on the cars. And that's what made it special, is you get something special. But I don't remember if this year was a year where it had special decos, or did they just take a uh, five-pack? Because, you know, back then they had uh, Nickelodeon five-packs. So, I don't know if they took the regular cars, or is this the one where they had the special release that was only in the East? I don't remember, because I just opened my stuff up. Let's see, we'll put you there, you there, okay, we'll start with uh, you know whose favorite color, what do we have, Jimmy Neutron, oh, excellent, that means this was the year, I'm pretty sure this was the year that they had special cars in, in these eggs that were only in the eggs, that means I'm going to be able to, uh, if that's true, I'm going to go into my collection and I'm going to show you all of the models. Because I was able to get all of the cars that were in this. I shouldn't say cars because it was like a, a helicopter or airplane and a boat. Um, I was not able to get, this is fantastic. This is the year that they had, uh, the, these cars were only in these Easter eggs and there was like seven or eight of them. I'm going to have to go in my jammers and find the rest of the cars. There was one, models, not cars, that's not a car, uh, one of them I could not find and I had to get help. I don't, I don't remember how I got it. I know this isn't it. I'm guessing by the weight of this, that this is going to be a big uh, silver van. Oh no, this guy. Yeah. Unfortunately, I got a lot of this guy when, when I was buying these on clearance trying to uh, complete my series. I was not able to get everybody. Fortunately, I got a lot of this guy, which doesn't help me because uh, rubber treads doesn't do too good for uh, parties and downhill racing and track stuff. Uh, while it's fun to have as a model, for me myself, I don't want extra to this one. That's fantastic. So this, since these eggs here were from this set here, I'm going to go into my collection and find the rest of this set. I'll be right back. Now, I mentioned that those Easter eggs had a copyright of 2004. They were actually released in 2005. You know, the copyrights are very often the year before the model was actually released. Here's a couple other Nick packs that I have. These were regular issues on the pegs. I don't remember if these were regular $5 packs. Now, this one has a Big Lots price sticker. So, this might have been a regular 5-pack. Sometimes they had Entertainment 5-packs. That were like at eight dollars or something so i'll just let you have a, a quick look at these models here and these two nickelodeon packs and as you can tell they're kind of a mix this one is a, a jimmy neutron pack right here so all the guys in this pack here have a jimmy neutron decos on them but the other model the other five pack it was a, a nickelodeon five pack so the models inside could be from various Nickelodeon TV shows. Avatar. That's just a couple of the uh, Matchbox uh, five packs that they released. There was uh, quite a few as a matter of fact. Now uh, Nick, they didn't uh, only have licenses for Matchbox cars. This one here, Nick Jr. Nick Mobiles. This was actually by uh, Johnny Lightning. I should show you. It's, uh, we know it came from Johnny Lightning, but they used the Joy Ride Studios brand name. Let me uh, let you take a look. I'm not going to open this up. Actually, I could, but anyways, uh, I'm sure you recognize some of the uh, little kitty programs that were uh, on Nick Jr. I'm sure you'll recognize the uh, Tampos. Now, even though these were a kid's product, 
they did have uh, chase pieces in this line and as you can tell this this uh, mark right here see it's a little hard to tell but it's a uh, it's got the green car it's got green wheels hold on I'm gonna have to open it up my recollection is these packs were only at Toys R Us these uh, joyride packs and as you can tell they were not sealed it was just a little flap like that now you get a better look at the models how do I get the plastic off here so there's the uh, green wheels I was talking about so they would they'd have a random green wheels on the models. Now, now might as well show the cars, and so you get a better look. Unfortunately, or uh, whatnot, because uh, the packages were easy to open up. If you found a pack with a chase pack, you could just buy uh, two packs and then uh, open up a pack and swap out the uh, chase piece and return the pack. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it when you return it like that because you're still getting the same five cars as a, a consumer it's not like you swapped out a different brand or something but uh, anyways there's a look at the uh, green wheel chase pieces that were in this series here uh, before I get too far off track let me just show you the other pack that uh, Nickelodeon released by uh, Joyride they actually had two different five packs come on they actually had two different five packs I'm sure some of you uh, people will recognize the uh, characters from the shows. And here you can see I got this one as a chase. I think I was only missing two models with the uh, chase wheels. Um, I don't remember which two they are. I just grabbed these two real quick. Uh, let's get back to the Matchbox egg story, okay? All right, just a quick scan of the uh, this half of my jammers that has different uh, Nickelodeon properties. Uh, the ones that are part of the story are going to be on the other side. This one, of course, is uh, one of my favorite models. What's up, Gary? On this side is where I have the, I thought, 11, but it's actually 12 models that were in the Easter Egg series for uh, 2005. Let's go ahead and uh, count them up. They already showed you this one was in the Easter egg. One. Here's a bite. Two. Three. Four. That one went, I, was an egg I just opened. Five. Six. Police car, what are you doing? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. But before I go, let's take a look at this one. I like this one. Colors on this one are fantastic. A fun aspect about collecting cars is, you know, you don't always have to go for new, new, new. Sometimes you go back in your old collection. I don't remember this one at all. Apparently it is a uh, SpongeBob piece because there's SpongeBob. Uh, it's got Viacom right here. But I don't remember where this came from at all. Just, it says just add water, so it makes me wonder if this was part of a uh, some type of play set. I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, just wanted to take a quick look at that. Now, we'll go ahead and go on to the official 12 releases that were found in the Easter eggs. The only problem is, I was never able to find one. I had mentioned that uh, a couple pieces were hard to find. But uh, one piece I never found, and it's super hard to find. This is according to uh, David Tilly. He is a, a renowned Matchbox collector. He said that this model here, not this color, not this release, this model, this shape, uh, this was actually one of the 12 cars or models that were in the series. It was in olive green. I don't know which, uh, which set it was assigned to. I don't know if it had... Fairly Odd Parents uh, Decos, or Jimmy Neutron, or Spongebob. But apparently there was a 12th one, which I do not have. But it was this model, not that color. So let's go ahead and go on with the rest of the models. Here we have Fairly Odd Parents. This is the uh, Ford panel van. Pretty cool, it's got the ladder assembly on top. I guess I could zoom in a little bit, eh? You recognize those those characters? I never watched that show. I'm really not familiar with it myself. Next up, we have the Ford Focus. I like this one. Had nice color.
Then we got the 2004 school bus. This is the uh, last one for the Fairly Odd Parents. Jimmy Neutron police car. We still see this police car in the lineup once in a while, especially with places. It's pretty cool. It's got a uh, opening trunk. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to like this one here. Here we have the GMC Wrecker. I like it. I like the big tow trucks like that. Got a little uh, two. Let's see if that works. Let's go ahead and give the uh, police car a tow. Let's see, does it hook? Yep, hooks pretty good. Another model that had the Jimmy Neutron Tampos was the Arrow Junior. This is one of the models that I got in the Easter egg. Has uh, wings that open up. Little propeller in the back. Got some wheels so this way you can uh, slide when you land. After you're done gliding, you can slide into a finish. You got a good look at the tapos, didn't you? And the G last Jimmy Neutron piece is a hydroplane. Now, this dirt bike, this is the one that I had to trade for. Now, let's go ahead and go to the uh, SpongeBob models. This is one never found. I had to trade for it, and I thought, fantastic. I found the hardest to find one. All right, got it. Next thing I know, there was a 12th one. Never seen it. I couldn't even find pictures on the web. Uh, the odd thing is uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, a dirt bike? Did he have any uh, scenes where he was riding a dirt bike? Kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But like the rescue boat here? Sure, why not? Makes sense to be a SpongeBob, uh, you know, be out on the ocean. Then we have the icebreaker was another release. Those two make sense. Can you see the tempo's good enough? Let me bring them a little closer. It's kind of hard because they're on the bottom edge. Let's see if they're the same. Patrick, SpongeBob, Patrick. Yep, yeah, they look the same. This one's pretty cool, huh? To infinity and beyond! Oh, wrong cartoon, sorry. And last up, the uh, icebreaker, or snow tracker, I'm sorry, which I had already shown. Got the uh, rubber tires. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the look. You know, my favorite two models out of this set were uh, the police car. You know, I'm a fan of police cars. Not a big fan of the rubber treads. I know some of you guys like them, that's fine. The, uh, the color was pretty nice on the uh, Ford Focus. So I liked that one there. And uh, it was kind of light. Oh yeah, GMC. You can't go wrong with, without the GMC. And then if you're going to do downhill racing, you want some heavy metal. So those four are the ones that you know, I was most wanting to find. But uh, there were some other nice ones too. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.